Birdie, birdie, and the barrel. <laughs> 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 Why, hello there, friends. Seth of the Sigus LPs here. And as you may have noticed, what's this? A Looney Tunes character. Well, wouldn't be the first time Looney Tunes made a video game, and this is no exception. Yes! My next Let's Play is indeed going to be a Let's Play of Taz Wanted. A game straight out of the Looney Tunes franchise of video games, and I must say, this game was tremendously relevant to me in my childhood as a kid. Like just about everything else I play. Well, except, of course, the blind Let's Plays of new games, because, well, I'm pretty sure I wasn't a kid when Return to Dreamland came out. Regardless, has wanted, yes. Been wanting to play this one for a while, actually, even though I did not own the game until about, not this Christmas, but the Christmas before that. Because, well, as a child, I would rent a lot of games, yeah. I, so I, I kind of did not come in contact with a physical copy of this since a long time ago until recently, and by recently, I mean two years ago. It doesn't matter. It's just a ton of backstory. Right now, all we need to know is that there are options. There are two, two player. Well, I don't know. I actually don't remember the two player mode, to be honest, so we could check that out another time, regardless. At the moment, we are going to be looking at the game options. Audio options? I don't know. I think I, I've tried it out, and I think all the options should be more or less good. Let's see if I can get subtitles for you guys, because apparently subtitles are an integral part of Let's Plays for a lot of people. I don't really see it, but I mean, if you like subtitles on a Let's Play, I'm not going to take that away from you, because, well, it does not mean much to me to have it there or otherwise. So, starting the game, I guess. Yes, we get to begin immediately. As you can see, we've got our save files. Kind of like how the menu is kind of like an island here, as you can see. Got a ton of crap going on on this one. This is my practice run. We are not going to check that out yet. We're going to go straight into the empty game because, well, I don't, I don't know. They all look empty to me. I mean, it just looks like three pathways that most likely lead to the same place. But guess not. This one's the one we're going to take. Start a new game. Yes, indeed. We are going to be starting a new game. So, yes, my new Let's Play. Oh, there's not... Can't say too much right off the bat. All I know is I'm excited. As excited as... I don't know. None, none of you have really excited faces, man. I don't know. <laughs> That's what it... The face of excitement right here. <laughs> Let's do it. Alright. So, well, I can't really say Seth. I don't, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to call it. It's, the name isn't really relevant. It's not like one of those games where they'll actually call you by the name you put. So I'm just gonna set it to a random thing if you get it. Get it! Set! <laughs> Done. End. Done. It's, it's over. That's the end of the Let's Play. Too many bad jokes already? No. Just, it's over. Well, save successful seems to think otherwise. Let us go into one of the mm, not-too-common loading screens. 
into the opening cutscene. Welcome to what is presumably Tasmania, where Taz and his unexplained female doppelganger have just thrust their pelvic regions into one another's in an E-rated game. After a moment of frolicking, or spin-licking, in what is theoretically should be a slightly less colorful mountain range, Taz brings his female companion for a view of the sun which he assumes is romantic as opposed to ocularly damaging. All this changed when the heavy metal drumming attacked. Welcome to Yosemite Park and Zoo. Now get. Did you just tell me to get? You the most exciting attractions in six blocks or your money back. Well, do you want me to go or not? No chance of that happening. <laughs> huh? Yeah, I'm Why confused don't you too. Come down and see for yourself. We got Zuni Tunes with its subtropical splendors, Luna Lagoon with its, and here are our latest attractions: the Tasmanian Devils. If you like what you see at the zoo, then you better book now for Tazland. Ah! And if you want to see this tornado twisting she devil in action, tune in to tonight's Gladiator show on channel. Taz, it's kind of hard to take your cry for help seriously when you're making fart noises. Get that she devil out of here! It looks like this one's gonna blow a gasket. Mm, I don't think so. Blow up your cage, maybe. So if you retained one thing from that opening cutscene, it should probably be that if you tune into whatever channel that was, don't worry, you'll find it someday. You can get a sneak peek of one of the upcoming episodes, basically. Also worthy of mention is the fact that they're basically the worst poachers in history. You could freaking walk through the gap in that cage, let alone break out. Ow! Well, I guess at least they neutered him. Right in the testicles. Oops. Uh-oh, that furball's blowing the coop. Get them wanted posters up now. Nobody gets away from Yosemite Sam. Alright, so welcome to the zoo. And pretty weird. I shouldn't be working with amateurs like this. Look, I haven't got time for this. Why don't you search the four corners of the map if you want to know what's going on? After all, I'm just a marketing gimmick. So, uh... Okay. Okay, Mr. Marketing Gimmick. Yes, he is the one who is going to give you the tutorials. Yeah, Tweety Bird, huh? Strange thing, though. I'm not actually going to pay attention to this tutorials because I already know what I'm doing. As you can clearly tell. Wahaha. <laughs> Spinning around like crazy. Yeah, so what are we gonna do first? Well, I guess you could just check out this place. As you can see, boxes, a humanoid animal, spinning? This isn't familiar at all. Alright, yeah. So apparently, I do like to keep some kind of consistency in the themes of my Let's Plays. If, uh, yeah, so. I guess other than that, I do not know exactly what we're going to do. Tutorial 2, you might as well show off everything you can do. This is basically the hub world of the first area of the game, I guess I could say. And it's also kind of a tutorial world as well. So, you kind of get to practice with the controls of this game, which I would strongly recommend if you are playing this game, because the fact of the matter is, it's decent platforming, I'm not going to lie. But the thing is, the first time you play it, the controls might seem a little counterintuitive, or rather just... I don't know, the physics might seem a little difficult to grasp at first, but it's definitely not too difficult. As you can see, I could make my way all across that, no problem, not like I fell in the water a million times. And my brother when he first started playing this game again. So, tutorial three, let's do this. Alright, so what are we going to do now? Well, you see there's this button, you see there's this thing, so there's definitely only one thing that we could possibly do. Sequence break and go to the, through the locked door. By jumping over it? Nope. Invisible walls, of course. My arch nemesis. Invisible walls, yes, invisible walls in video games. Always these non opaque walls that are apparently indestructible. Can I destroy it? Probably not. So, yeah, you know what? He can't get through freaking invisible wall, but he can get out of the cage. Why didn't they make just. If, if he has enough invisible wall to go around his entire zoo, why didn't he just make the cage out of that? It would have been a lot more effective, I think. Jeez. 
Come on, these guys, these guys don't- OW! No, the box forced me to do the tutorial. You're on your own here. Oh, wow, so they, so apparently they do, they pay him to sit there and tell you to read the book if you are not good enough to get it on your own. Okay. That's amazing, like, I'm really glad that this guy's do work in my tutorial level, yes. Yeah. So, the main thing that you're gonna wanna keep in mind in this game is that you're basically gonna have to destroy wanted posters like that. Now that one didn't really mean anything because, well, it was just a tutorial level wanted poster, so apparently it's no better than the real thing. I mean, who's gonna come to the zoo anyways? Ugh, anyways. This is an Acme box. You might want to know about this, or you may not, who knows. Maybe you're like, oh, I don't want to end up like Wily e. Coyote, so it's probably not a good idea that I go anywhere near that thing. Well, apparently all we're going to get from it is... Disguises? Yes! You get disguises in this game. What do disguises do? Well, you see this guard here? They apparently don't do nothing, because he still recognizes you. So yeah, so this uses disguises, everyone, in case you've ever wanted that. Well, luckily, these guys' cages are no better than the one they brought us here in. It's a wonder that we even got all the way here stuck in that cage. How did they even trap us in the first place? I have no idea, but we're not going to dwell on that. We're going to get our disguise again, our useless disguise. Yes, because I like having a red nose for arbitrary reasons. By that, I mean no given reason. By that, I mean there actually is a reason. Yes, when you have a disguise, you can press add the X button to limit to be terrible and jump into the net because everyone wants to get caught a million times over. By the way, getting caught in this game is not actually a good thing, but I am apparently making it look like it's the most fun thing ever because it's the only thing I am managing to do at the moment. Oh boy. Anyways, tutorial level 4. Yes, I, I, re I keep reading that. Every time I see text on a screen in a video game, I feel like reading it, and this text is kind of ever-present, and therefore it kind of just, it just, it just bothers me. You got Goos! There we go. Believe it or not, it is not usually that hard. Apparently, they thought it was a good idea to, in the tutorial level, when you're not supposed to know what you're doing, give you the freaking hardest ability to land ever. So yeah, the disguises are kind of like abilities. And that's basically it. So yes, you can take out the guards with the disguises. You can jump around like a crazy lunatic. You can spin around and break things like a crazy lunatic. That is basically all you're going to have to know if you want to play this game. All right, so I guess that with that... I don't know, we can head on to the first level, I mean, might as well. So yes, you can spin to move a lot faster, I strongly recommend it if you do not feel like staying in one place for hours, and you can actually walk slower if you are so inclined to do so. There is actually a point to sneaking to this game, mainly it also helps you keep your balance when you're like walking those logs and everything, so it's really up to you whether or not you want to make use of that. But regardless, we are going to have to go through this platforming segment. Yes, I kind of like how they put this here. To lead you into the new level, you know, to lead you into a new game so that you can figure out what you're doing. Of course, there is a lot more to this game than just platforming, though, as you probably deduced. Or maybe not. Maybe you're like, this is Super Mario 3D Land. The Tasmanian knockoff edition. All right, that is definitely not the case. And in the next episode of Taz Wanted, we are going to be heading on into the first level of the game where... We get to witness someone who has door handles for eyeballs. Beautiful. Like, couldn't have said it better myself. I will see you guys next time.